All right, we have a little bit of time left, and uh, since we are still enjoying a lot of 16-bit stuff, and Nintendo recently uh, said uh, you can play our classic Super Nintendo games on the Nintendo Switch, why don't we do that right now? And we've got a new gentleman in the audience we haven't seen before. What's your name? Francesco. Francesco, you want to come up and, and play? You want to play some 16-bit stuff? Cool. Welcome, Francesco, up to the stage. Uh, I just have to find the remote control. There it is. Okay, cool. And I'll put this on uh, the right thing. I think it's this one. Grab a seat right there. Where are you from, Francesco? Are you one of the students here? No. No? I'm from Brazil. You're from Brazil? Yeah. Fantastic. And do you watch EP in Brazil? What? Uh, do you watch our show from Brazil, or no, you just? No, this you, is my first time. Ever you just stumbled in. You. Yeah. And you found a show, and you're on the show. That <laughs> that's the way. That's the way it works. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get this off. Hold on one sec. Okay, and we're gonna switch over to. Oh, I gotta turn. You gotta turn this on here. One sec. There you go. Cool. I think it should pop up there. There it is. And let's get it for the audience as well. Yeah. Not that one. What's Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's okay. What? What's your favorite game? Thank you, Josue. Uh, the Final Fantasy franchise. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. Which, which is your favorite out of the Final Fantasy? Oh, I really like the 10. Yeah. Final Fantasy 10. It's the first game I ever played. There it is. And okay, cool. Yeah. Classic game. Okay, so uh, go ahead and pick whatever you want out of the uh, the collection of. Did you play oh. the Super Nintendo? No, no, never you're played. too young for the Super <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was this was a very popular console back oh. in uh, the 90s. Okay, I'll play Super Mario World. There you go, Super Mario World. That's a safe choice. That's yeah. awesome. Th you didn't have it in uh, in Brazil? Mm -hmm. No. We do have it in Brazil, but I never played, you never played uh, it. Uh, so, what was your Nintendo. first game machine then? My first game machine was uh, PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 was his first. I feel so freaking old right now. <laughs> I've never felt older on this show. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so this is Let's Play and Chat. I'm gonna let you right. figure out how to play Mario. Okay. Okay, go for it. Um, so if you've got any questions or comments on uh, on the show, or you want to add anything to um, this insanity, if you want to tell me how young you are, now is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, can you please try to find Aliens 3 on Sega and review it? It was my first system. That's uh, Kraken Pines. I have Aliens 3. I don't know what I what machine was it on the Nintendo as well. I have the thing somewhere, um, but that sounds cool. I'm in the superhero mode right now. I'm not going to review everything on all these old consoles, although this is pretty rad to be able to play this on a Switch. Do you have a Switch right now? No, my my friend has a Switch. Yeah, cool. And yeah, this was just released. The uh, they said to anybody that's on Nintendo Online, uh, you get all these Switch game or all these okay. Super Nintendo games for free. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's pretty rad, right? Um, okay, we've got uh, uh, Abby Jamison says SNES tastic. Uh, Nintendo Boy 17 says EA has a hold on NFL like Namco Bandai ha has uh, on anime. Yes, it's interesting how all of these exclusives have locked up on all of these different platforms. And, and I didn't see anything on a new NBA Live this year. Did you guys see anything? No, it's like it totally dropped off. Yeah, they were doing okay last year. I never got a chance to check it out, but it's like they were getting, they were clawing back, and now it's gone again. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Sam I am one 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 says it's kind of ironic how EA made the NFL exclusivity agreement, yet 2K muscled them out of the NBA space. Yeah, it was just all back and forth with all of these things. Um, I actually have a uh, reviewable build of NBA Live 11, and that was the year where they canceled the game after they sent the code out to reviewers to be able to review the game. And I got the, the game. We never reviewed it because they sent uh, another note saying, don't review it. It's There's bugs. We're canceling. So they canceled the game. That's never happened before where that's a lot of money. And that, and then there are lots of firings and, and uh, they shifted development, I think, down to Tiburon in Florida. It had been a vaunted franchise at EAC for a long time. It was a, it was a real point of pride. And then uh, something happened, and uh, it's crazy. I should play that someday. Yeah, that would be I should I should put that on the show. NBA Live. I'm sure EA would love that. <laughs> Never get another guest from EA if I do that. Probably. Uh, okay. Adrian Leon says, uh, 
Uh, Sam, I am one one one. Sonic the Hedgehog, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and Sonic Underground, uh, uh, where he did the voice of Sonic in. I guess you guys are talking about a Sonic um, uh, voice actor. Oh, uh, Jaleel White. Yes, of course, that's the guy. He's Urkel. I didn't know what his name is. Yeah. This episode of EP Live dedicated to Jaleel White, Mr. Urkel. Uh, I mean a. F a four out of ten as a reviewer to me, uh, that means, yeah, you can play it, but everything sucks. Graphics, sound, control, you wouldn't want to play a four. That's not Strider. Oh, uh, Dr. Game Love is talking about uh, uh, my... Because uh, I've reviewed a bunch of the Sega Genesis mini games in a micro review setting. There's 42 games on that. Um, that's going to be live again tomorrow, by the way. Uh, Sega reached out and said we jumped the gun a little bit too much. I thought it, they're old games. Everybody's seen these things. I can review them, but they're trying to keep it all embargoed at, for the thing. So tomorrow, our, uh, my review of the Sega Genesis Mini hits, and we also have um, a review of the 42 games. Uh, it's, a long <laughs> it's a long video of the 42 games that are included on there. But I did not like Strider. Spoiler alert. It was... Uh, it was weird to go back to it and play it because in our minds it's an amazing game, but uh, playing it again, I was like, this is lame, man. I just felt like I wasn't connecting on any of my hits. Uh, but we've got a, Dr. Game Love loves Strider. Um, and that's all good. Uh, let's see what we got here. The voice of Sonic the Hedgehog and his made for TV brother and sister who had their own band. I'm not sure. Is that, is that uh, Urkel? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Question from Jamie Andrews. Uh, how hard was it for you, Victor, to not give Astral Chain a 10 out of 10? I did, oh, I, people keep asking me about that, and they comment on uh, my review on Astral Chain, which, if you have a Switch, go get this freaking game. It's incredible. Uh, it's up there for the best thing i played this year so far. Uh, but I didn't give it a 10 because I didn't like it as much as Breath of the Wild. And I kept thinking, bless you, I kept thinking of Breath of the Wild as I was, because I was like, is, is this as seminal as that? Um, and I, I just, I didn't think it was, but that was in my mind, but that's how good it is. It's, it, it made me struggle with what I was gonna give it because it's so freaking cool and it's so out of nowhere, just like uh, Control is, you know? Like in 2019, and I think Christopher and, and Scott would back me up on this, it's so rare to see these massive AAA games that are so, um, original and shocking and out of nowhere you know it's uh it's such a huge investment and when they're that big and they're that creative and fun uh we need to stop and applaud them uh, uh happy console gamer says hey vic do you like video games not, not really not really no no not really i just like urkel uh, question, uh, do you think Ezra Miller's dark take on the Flash movie will be any good? Jeff Beecham throwing down the gauntlet there. Um, I, I, I haven't liked what they've done with the Flash except for the race at the end of Justice League where the Flash and Superman were smiling and colorful and it looked like they were going to have fun racing around the world. I like that bit. Uh, I don't like the armor on the Flash. The Flash should be wearing fast clothing. Nothing that makes him look like it's gonna, like, catch air and slow him down, you know? It just looks so stupid. That was a design choice that, uh, that Zack Snyder did. The actor seems fine. He seems, uh, you know what it is, is that they make the amazing Flash TV show right here in our city, and uh, G uh, Grant Gustin is awesome as Barry Allen, the Flash. And it's so hard for me to, like, forget him and think that, oh yeah, I'm fully invested in whatever they, they're working on on this, this movie that's taking forever with this new Flash thing. So, I don't know. I don't know if it will be dark. I think what they'll try to do is make it a lot more funny. Um, did you finish? No. You're not finished yet? Yeah. Come on, I thought you were a speedrunner. No, I'm uh, I think the only game I've given a 10 was Ghost Trick on the DS at A+, same thing. Uh, it's Blair Farrell. Um, I don't have a 10. Every game sh could be better in some way. Yeah, that's that's a, that's an argument I've definitely heard. Um, when you never give out 10s because everything can, can be better. I don't know, man. I, I, I like to I like to award unbelievable inventiveness and creativity and kind of uh, things that move the needle and shift every like Grand Theft Auto 3 or or which I th I think is arguably well now it's Zelda Breath of the Wild best game of all time. But uh, I, I believe in the power of uh, bestowing a 10 on games that, are, that deserve it. And those games certainly do. Um, I've got time for one more question, and then we've got to wrap it up here. 
Uh, let's see if there's anybody that actually has a, a queue. I love seeing things that were canceled. Oh, so Geek Hero wants to see NBA Live 11. Question, oh no, that was the Flash. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Nintendo Boy 17, are you planning on playing Smash DLC one of these days? Banjo released not long ago, and Terry Bogard is coming to uh, November. Uh, here's what's going on, right? Um, um, it's the Game Valanche season, so everything is coming in. I want to play the DLC to Smash, and I want to play um, uh, No Man's Sky so bad, uh, but I've got a bunch of games in the queue. The the new Zelda, the uh, um, uh, Man of Medan, the uh, the sort of interactive adventure type game, uh, the Iceborne uh, DLC for Monster Hunter, there's the Nino Kuni, uh, uh, the, yeah, the remake of that, and Borderlands 3, I think, comes in tomorrow, and uh, so I'm getting I, I'm getting inundated with things, so I, I don't know when I will get back to Smash DLC, but maybe it'll be on, um, on Let's Play and Chat. That's actually a great suggestion. I'd love to play Banjo. That would be super fun. Um, okay, uh, that is going to do it for our episode today. Um, it's not fully confirmed yet, but uh, Rod Ferguson and I have been going back and forth with uh, from the Coalition. Uh, Gears 5 is out this week. The reviews are out there. I gave it a 9. It's a, a phenomenal achievement, and I'm so happy and proud of all those folks over at uh, the Coalition. But uh, Rod and I have been talking about him coming back, um, and so we're looking at Friday as, as he coming back to the show. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the choices that are made in the story. So it'll be a little spoilery, but it'll be a fun conversation with the uh, the head of gears uh, on Friday. So please come down to 390 West Hastings, the VFS Cafe in Vancouver, if you live in the city, or uh, watch the stream right here. Until then, we're, uh, we're going to say goodbye for now, but lots of content coming tomorrow. We'll see you on Friday. And until then, play forever. Nice. Thank you. <laughs>